All right, something really cool today. I'll show you guys. I had these uh, the old old school peep mirrors. What's really cool about these? They have a built-in turn signal in these guys. Uh, they're four inch diameter. We'll go ahead and open this one up here. I'll show you everything that comes with the kit. Uh, just an Allen wrench and a little rubber boot. I'll show you guys where that goes. Uh, and let's see, just like that. Come on. Ooh, nice and pretty. So, uh, take that one's tight. I'll have to loosen that one up a little bit. It's kind of dirty, too. So, it's already been finger messing with this one. Anyway, uh, where's the turn signal? Oh, you can just barely see it right there at the palm of my, uh, my palm. You can see the little LEDs. Uh, let's see how many there Looks like one, two, I think there's six LEDs in there. Could be more. But anyway, it's hard to tell because you got the mirror. But... Anyway, what you want to do is just take the little provided Allen wrench. Uh, you'll back these guys out. Give yourself some space. You'll take that little rubber boot out of there. You'll slide the rubber boot onto this piece. This is going to go on the outside of your car. So, so like if it were hanging right above the door this will be on the inside of the door this will be on the outside and that rubber boot protects the paint on the outside of the door i'll show you i've got this one kind of mocked up i just wanted to check some you know fitment make sure it, there's nothing interfering and i just got the wires hanging here i'll route those they give you i think they said four feet um let's see yeah, that looks about right. Uh, and I've located the turn so it's hard to see the reflections everywhere. As you can see the little LEDs there. So I've got this one where I want it. You know, and just adjust it later. The instructions tell you to leave about a one inch slack for if you have to adjust the mirror. But I'll show you on this one. There's a little groove like a little channel down in here where my fingernail is you can route the wire in there uh, and then there's this little clip down here you run the wire through that clip and uh, it keeps keeps your wires tucked up and they said uh, I think they said you can use a couple of drops of super glue a couple of drops of super glue to help keep the wire secure in the groove um, so that's a hard way to do that. I'll show you back on. I'll open the door and show you. See those two little Allens right there. Ah, focus. Focus. Uh, it just clips onto like the top of the door there. And there's that little rubber foot, a little pad, kind of protects the paint. Old school peep mirror. Just want to show you guys that. Uh, these are, I uh, got these for about 30 bucks for the pair. They were sold individually, but they're reversible. Uh, so you can flip them whichever way you need it. Um, so be careful when you buy those because I've seen the same kits that people wanted like 60 bucks for them or just do careful shopping. These things are only like 15 a piece. Uh, what else have I done today? I've got the lower radiator hose put in there. Uh, note to self and uh, Ronnie, I know you're probably watching this. Uh, 
if you go to put that hose in there, this is a, the three inch radiator, so you've lost an inch already. Uh, I got a, that's a 13 and a half inch radiator hose, and that was kind of tight getting that in there. Uh, just FYI, uh, you could probably do it with like a, maybe 11 inch hose and you should be fine. Uh, it was just kind of tight getting it in there. In fact, I actually had to take the radiator out, put the hose onto the water pump first, and then slide the radiator back down while putting the hose onto the outlet. And it was one of those cluster fucks but it worked uh i'd say a little bit shorter hose will probably make life a lot easier i'm still waiting for the other hose to come in goes to the top to the thermostat um i measured that out i think it's like a 16 17 inch hose uh by of course uh one and a half diameter and the lower was uh one and three quarter inch diameter so anyway for anybody out there wanting to uh, take part in these projects. Uh, what else have I done? Got the headlights. Headlights are rocking and a rolling. See that one? And uh, high beam, low beam switch. Got that fixed. Uh, tail lights are in. That yeah, was sitting kind of high. That one works, that one also works. Problem is, turn signal on that side doesn't work yet. I got it working on this one, not on the right side. I'm, I haven't really messed around with the right side yet. It's just, bit, I got busy trying to fix uh, my turn signals and headlights on the front. So, anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, what other parts did I get in today? Uh, I got a new throttle cable. There was, a, you know, obviously I put a new cable in there. It's this little black plastic one. I think it's might be stainless steel, but it's uh, it's got like a plastic liner on the outside. Turn these off. So I'm gonna kill my battery. Uh, the problem is I might. I think I might have cut that one too short, or uh, or it might be not short enough. It just keeps getting pinched, and so I just went with the stainless steel one. Uh, I'll get that. I'll get that installed. What else came in? Hose this this. I think that's it for today. I'm still waiting on some other parts to show up. Uh, I had that fan ordered. Uh, I'm gonna put two 10-inch fans in there. Uh, I could probably actually do two 12s. Um, but 10 inch will give me the, this the space that I need. And then I'm also trying to figure out the wiring, uh, how I'm going to set those up. I don't want both fans on the same toggle switch. Uh, I'd like to actually do, um, have one fan running on a switch, like a temp switch. Switch comes on at 180 degrees, turns off at 170 degrees. It'll power that one fan, and the other fan will act as an auxiliary. I could either have another temperature sensor, or I can just run a, a manual toggle switch to underneath the dash, and I can control that however I want. Um, the problem that I'm having is I've only got one place to put a temperature sensor. And that just so happens to be the same spot that uh, right there where I put the uh, I put the sensor for my uh, or the sender rather for the uh, I want to say focus piece of shit. Um, that's for the temperature gauge on the dash. So I'll have to figure out something. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Got that new weather stripping installed. Uh, right there. This phone just does not want to focus today. There we go. All the way across. I might put a little bit of black RTV to kind of set this one back down. I don't think I pulled it tight enough when I put the row of clips in. 
Uh, but anyway, it is what it is.